Hey guys, I know it has been like a long, long time and this is kind of a different setting and also not ready. I have different hair. I had different hair. I had at the time that we saw us the last time, I think, I don't know. I had like, I think my natural blonde hair and then... In winter, I had orange hair, like red hair, and then I bleached it, like, um, blonde, and did it again, and then I had, like, um, pink, and now, and I had, like, long, I can put some pictures here, I don't know, if I want to. Um, and now, and then I think I bleached, no, I had, then I did brown hair and then I bleached it again and now I have sort of a mullet. Um, yeah, but anyways, this is beside the point. I'm trying this, I don't know, new format thing, um, sort of, um, I'm trying to cut a little less. I hate, like not cut, but I hate editing, to be honest. And I belong to not the 1% of population. Actually, I am into the, I'm in the percentage of, I'm a uni student that also thought YouTube is fun. Also, the the P word happened like three years ago when I was like, oh my God, it's going to be such a good distraction to you to start making YouTube videos. And uh, then I kind of got bored of it. Um, but anyway, so this is going to be like a long format sort of thing if I can do that. And also like sort of you can have it in the background. I, I won't call it a podcast. Because first of all, it's sort of cringe. It's enough, you know. It's enough. I don't want to call it that. It's... A long format talking um, video uh, and also if we're gonna call a podcast or anything like that that's why I have a video because I personally if I listen to podcasts I watch them and I hope the audio is good enough here because I'm using this the which I bought when I first started making videos um, with my very shitty phone. Still, I uh, film with my phone. I don't care. I'm not gonna get a camera. Two reasons. I don't want to. Because I don't have money. And also because I don't want to learn how to use a camera. Call me crazy. Call me low effort or anything. I have like 25 subscribers and 24 of them are my friends. So I don't care. If you're not one of them, I care deeply about you if you're one of my friends you know that I care deeply about you um yeah in my room nothing has changed except for maybe that I made my bed and it's not that chaotic anymore um yeah but right now I am quite alone in my apartment that I sure share not sure share with a her as we all know she's not here she's on vacation with her parents so for a week now I have been alone and I've been studying for my exam that I have when I record this um, next Tuesday. It's the 19th um, of September. And um, yeah, I thought, because I like to, that sounds kind of crazy, I like to talk to myself when I'm alone. Or at least, no, I like to talk to myself when I'm alone. So I thought, why not just ramble with a purpose um, here in the hopes of that maybe one person is like, this is enjoyable. Um, because I like, I think that these kind of things are enjoyable. Um, but I have this idea, sorry, I have this idea of, a, I thought about making a video about it. But then I was like, I don't really want to make a video about it. I just want to talk about it. So maybe I'm going to talk about it here. Um, I, I'm going to. I'm starting. I recently am on a mental health journey, I guess. 
um, for like, I had the thought of my mental health for like a year, year and a half, two years now. I mean, on and off. Um, but um, I wrote an email to my last therapist and he gave me my, um, what's it called? Like my patient things, I guess. Um, I forgot the word for, um, where the, my patient file, there it is. Um, and I, I mean, me, my therapist, and also when I was in a facility, <laughs> to say it very nice, um, I was like loosely diagnosed with compulsion disorder. I'm gonna go into why I'm not calling it OCD personally, you know, identify not as OCD. Um, but when I received the letter with my stuff in, I saw, because you have like a little thing right before the text starts with the diagnoses, I looked into that. Um, I, I just asked him to send me this stuff. It's not like, you know. Um, and he's obligated, I think, to do that because it's my... Sorry, it's my information. Um, yeah, so I look at the diagnoses and the diagnoses said, which I already knew, I am dyslexic and I have dyscalcular. I have that since I was born. Um, it sounds like you can get that. No, um, I mean, like, I knew that, uh, that I had that since, I think, fifth grade, going from fourth to fifth grade. I was so bad in... Like reading, writing, um, text comprehension, uh, and also math. Like everything that had to do with these two things. Like, um, as you know, I don't know if you guys know that again, 23 of my friends and maybe like two people that are not my friends watch this. Um, I am German, so my dyslexia is in German. So I was really, really bad in my German class. Um, and is, if anyone that is not German watches this or listens to this, um, perhaps an English person, someone who speaks the, the language of English, um, knows that German is quite difficult for foreigners especially, but like even for German people is very difficult um, because of all the fucking daddy does. <laughs> Um, everything is just, the grammar is horrible. So every time a foreign person is like, oh my god, you went so awful. I'm just like, yeah, I know. I, no, 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 I know. I'm not one of these people. It's like, oh, you know. It's like, no, I know exactly how that is. So on my uh, diagnosis, it says, these kind of my learning disabilities and um, my diagnosis for, um, I don't know how to say it in English. It's like, um, a depressive episode, like an, not a high one or like a weak one, I guess. So like a, like on a middle ground. It was like not that bad, but it was bad enough. Um, so I had these two diagnoses and another one, which I've never like, I thought was never formally diagnosed with. But when I saw it there it meant like I was diagnosed with it, which is OCD, uh, obsessive compulsive disorder. And um, I got this letter, I think, two months ago, and I haven't stopped thinking about it, haha. But um, I still remember when I first, like, like strongly um, showed signs I guess of uh, this disorder was when I was like I think 16 ish and I don't know if I start I was 16 yet or just I think I just turned 16 um, and I had the compulsion to wash my hands or have like with hot water and soap and do it over and over and over again. I know I don't have like a specific amount of times I do it. It just 
do it more than one time or I do it one time but very long in a way of that I don't the water doesn't stop so I keep the water running and wash my hands clean them wash my hands clean them you know da, 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 da. and um it's what do I want to say oh yeah why I wanted to talk about it I wanted to talk about like my experience with this OCD um because now that I know that I am formally diagnosed with it um that I have it and I know that I have it but I just never like knew if the medical surroundings knew that I have it because you can know that you have something but the professionals don't know that you have it because you haven't been diagnosed with this so I wait I yeah I was thinking about it I was like you know what I because of like TikTok again I don't have TikTok by the way I refused to download it when the pandemic hit I also did not have musically by the way I had Vine for like a brief period of time anyways um so when I say TikTok it means very embarrassingly sorry very embarrassingly Instagram reels I don't care I'm very proud of not using TikTok I'm sorry I have to burp um and I get like a lot of like mental health um Instagram reels and um a lot of them were about obsessive thoughts and OCD and how it feels to have OCD and these obsessive thoughts and I always like felt weird about it in a way that I have OCD but I have no obsessive thoughts and then I was like okay what the heck we're not swearing um how can I have OCD when I have obsession in the diagnostic criteria um but on my diagnosis it says I have obsessive actions so there's a difference between actions and thoughts obviously you know you can think of drinking water or drink water and I would be drinking the water and someone with excessive thoughts would think about drinking water you know not the water part but like and then I started googling looking at videos you know I just watched recently the video from GG Gamer I think it's called the um, the doctor that does like mental health awareness um and interviews youtubers and stuff like this and he made a video about OCD and what OCD really is um he responded the video he was that was more like a response uh because of like a uh, of his subreddit because I was a person with OCD and again I was like I don't have obsessive thoughts I mean yes of course there are obsessive thoughts that people have with OCD but I don't know if that relates to anyone that will ever see this um but maybe you're out there and you feel like oh my god finally someone said it because it's very hard to find something that is that just talks about the compulsion like the obsessive action I would say and I looked into obsessive uh, into obsessive compulsion obsessive compulsive personality disorder and the difference between these two the OCD and OC OCD no OCPD and uh, yeah the differences about it and with the actions I take I feel more validated by what the personality disorder describes because they don't really have these thoughts of like oh if I don't do this this will happen or if I don't do this what will happen so it's not like that I wash my hands because I think I don't know my mom will die or I'm afraid of disease I'm of course I'm at a normal level afraid of disease but not to the degree that it will make me have OCD my OCD is more like again the obsession is gone with my actions that I take I don't wash my hands because I have a thought that I don't like and also to a certain degree I don't don't dislike my uh, compulsion 
sure, I dislike it in situations where I don't want to have it, which would be when I was younger and I was in school, in high school, I would need to leave the room to act upon this uh, compulsion. Then I was like, this is fucking, an this is hecking annoying, but I don't dislike the action of doing so. I mean, I have, I recently bought this. This is a disinfective antiseptic gel. I also put it in here and I also bought this and I have another one on my backpack because the hand washing when I was in the facility they said like generally to just get over it in a way because they give you they gave me at least this piece of paper that's like okay so here you have a threshold right and this is your threshold of anxiety anger whatever and you have this threshold and when you pass this threshold you, well, me at least, I will get this compulsion and it will go up. And when it's up, right here, it's like the strongest. You have to, you really want to do this action to soothe or the thought to soothe this, uh, the, the going over the threshold. And then they told me, yeah, but you have to realize that every up, every up has a going down. So I just stopped for a while doing it and I felt awful not doing it because I still want to do it. And I know that I wash my hands more than the people around me because I also get like very clammy hands in general, like sweaty hands. Um, but I also, I wash my hands when I come back home. I wash my hands when... Um, I just like I like to wash my hands like at least five times a day and I think that's fine that's fair enough like and plus the times I go to the restroom but um it's not like to a degree that I would say it was when I was 16 15 16 because then I used to wash my hands quite more and a big part why I think I got the diagnosis of OCD is because they asked how I feel about it and I was like, it's partially very nice and very good because it calms you down. It's like, it calms you down. It's like, you really like it. But other part of me was like, this is getting ridiculous. Because because of these situations, when I would be in math class or something, and I would like, I need to wash my hands and I need to leave. And if I don't do it, I get like anxious. I start sweating. I one time had a panic attack and had to do it. So, anyways, so I st sort of stopped doing it and I just have now hand sanitizer. I had hand sanitizer with me a lot, like a lot of times, um, because I thought that's, that's better. Because like, this antiseptic gel that I have is like for, it doesn't break your skin. Because a lot of hand sanitizer, because there's alcohol in it, make your skin very, very dry and... I'm not about that. I don't want it. I would be not that person. Um, so I look for hand sanitizers that don't dry out my skin. But also I don't but also I don't care what kind of hand sanitizer I use. So this one, the spray, is a hand sanitizer that's for objects and not necessarily for hands. But I like this brand. And <laughs> also I like the smell of hand sanitizer quite a lot. And so I still use this, even though this will dry my hands out quite a lot. The other ones, not, because they are made for the body. And I don't really make a, like, distinguishing point between these two things. Um, yeah, but, like, I, I always, like, read things like, oh, um, people will have these thoughts. For example, if you're in the bus, you're like, oh my god, what if I kill the bus driver and drive this bus out of the like off the bridge or you see your like siblings like younger siblings like what if I kick this person in the head like intrusive thoughts that you don't want to have and so to minimize these thoughts or for example um oh my god um I'm convinced that I have an illness and then you do things um either you do things or you think certain like thought patterns all over again to soothe you but I don't have these thoughts that lead me to do an action so I 
don't think, for example, because mine is like hygienic and having thirst, having things a certain way. It's not that I like, oh my God, if I don't do it like this or if I don't wash my hands or hand sanitize my hands, uh, I will die, my mom will die, the earth will go down. It's more like that I just have to do it. And if I don't do it, I just feel awful. And it's more like that the thought of doing the action will be my obsession. So I'm like, okay, I'm not going to hand sanitize my hands, for example. I need to study. I'm going to study now. And then I will try, but I can't because I'm thinking about doing the action. So I have to do the action. So, and I thought, I, I, I was like going inside of me, my little brain, my little brain, my little, my little head. And I was like, okay, but like you get anxiety if you don't do it. So you're trying to soothe, soothe something. I was like, yeah, that's true. But it's not that I have like a thought that I'm trying to get rid of or a particular feeling. It's more like I just have the feeling you need to do this action. And if I don't do it, I will think about the action. So I don't know if that all makes sense. And I hope that someone can relate to this because like I have the hygienic part of OCD and um, I would, I mean, this is what my diagnosis, the diagnosis doesn't specifically state what part of OCD I have because there are different criterias, um, but they do write in the text that it is specifically the washing part and it's just my hands. It's not that I shower often, I don't clean the apartment very often. It's not about that. It's more like that my hands, the experience, just my hands, I don't know, um, for any other body part or part in, like, my living space, or, like, for example, if I'm on the bus, I don't disinfect, like, the seat or something, it's not about that, it's just my hands, but I suspect, again, I'm, like, I study history and theology, so I'm not a mental health professional, um, I, because I looked into it, because I had have certain behaviors that I don't know where the frick they're coming from, and they're mostly probably coming from my OCD, because I also have um, the need to do things a certain way, and do them over and over again, and it's not in, like, the comical way of, like, oh, she needs to turn off the light switch on and off, because, of course, there there are people like this, but it's, I think I would say it's less the these kind of compulsions um, than, like, um, it's more like I have a routine, like a controlling obsession a controlling compulsion that I have. It's like I have to do things a certain way. I have to do things when I am at certain locations. Um, for example, me and my boyfriend, every time we go to the city, we need to go and eat that specific, specific food. And also, if we are at this restaurant, I need to eat the specific food. I like to eat on, not the like chair, but I like to sit on the, the booth couch thing on the wall they're like th in the morning I tend to wake up around the same time in the morning I do the same things in the morning I eat the same foods of months at a time drink the same drink watch the same people like on YouTube or something like this and I tend to start to study around the same time for me it's less about numbers it's more like about that I need to do things in a certain order and I will do these no matter when or where I wake up. Well, I try. If I am sleeping somewhere else, it's very hard for me to do them. So I mostly just leave very early. Or if I sleep at my boyfriend's place, I tr have a different routine for just his place. So, but it's not about that I like, oh, I need to do, I need to eat my breakfast. I need to eat this for breakfast after I did this, but before I did this. Because I think otherwise my mom will die. I don't have these 
like thoughts about it. I just, I need to do it. Otherwise I will fall apart. Don't know why, but it's not like I have doomsday thoughts or, oh, I'm going to get sick or whatever. I just like, I have to do that. If I don't do this, I will get stressed. I will be in a bad mood. I will sweat and I will feel very overwhelmed with the situation. So I do have something that I'm trying to soothe with, with these things, but not, I don't have active thoughts about it, which is very weird because I do have active, active, Jesus Christ, maybe I should like talk a little slower, but it is what it is. I do have active thoughts, like most of the time. So, and even if I don't know what I'm thinking, I have always something going on in the background. Um, I don't know. Going back to a rather less scientific thing, my MBTI is INTJ, so look that up. Um, it's like a criteria for them. <laughs> it sounds so pretentious. Um, by the way, tell me how you feel about this whole thing. Because I'm having fun. I'm having fun, guys. I say to 25 people. Or less. I haven't seen or looked at my social... I want to say social blade. This, does this even exist um, anymore? Um, at my like YouTube studio thing. Where you can see how many uh, followers you have. Because I know that I have so little. So, I don't know. Mmm... I hate that I have like this buttkin. My boyfriend makes so much fun for my buttkin. I have like a very short chin too. Anyways. Um, yeah, that's just like my rambling. Oh my god. I'm already at like 27 minutes. I thought about like, oh, it's probably going to be like, it's just short. I have a lot to say. So it's not going to be short. I don't know if I'm going to edit this or not. Mm. So... Maybe not. I hate editing. Again, I hate it. It's so time consuming. And me, I have, I value my time. I like time. And I don't like spending time on things. I only like spending time on things that I really want to do. So, I don't know. Um, What else can I talk about? Mm, yeah, that was that. Mm, again, tell me if you hate this, then I'm never going to do this again. Just kidding. I think I will do this again. Mm. Because then I have like sort of an outlet to just talk to someone. Someone. I just look at myself. It sounds like I'm very self-obsessed. Self I'm not. It's just like that I'm going to use me having a constant stream of thoughts, but out loud for the benefit of maybe entertaining someone with this because actual videos take me so much time and also I have no ideas and I have no time to spend on that so this kind of thing is just like you know one thing and um it's about fun <laughs> guys it's about fun and uh I'm having fun I don't know if you guys are having fun but I'm having fun um, oh, I bought a whiteboard, actually. Don't know, actually, I know why. Why I'm saying that. You know, like these teachers' whiteboards. I want to want, like, a big one that I can, like, roll around. But you can see my room is not that big. And, like, I would say one big step from here to there is, like, the end of my room. And I have windows there so if I would have like a big whiteboard there I would like not be it not the vibe so I have one that's a little bit smaller it kind of looks like these um business meeting ones but I quite enjoy it because I use that for studying I use that for ideas for just general brain ideas thoughts realization I draw little thingies on there too. It's very fun. Um, oh, by the way, my Instagram account for this YouTube channel still is not there. I had no, I didn't want to do it anymore. If you want to, you can just like follow my normal Instagram account. 
um, you can, if you go back to like earlier videos, I think I promoted that. Um, I had it on private for quite some time and then I was like, you know what, why is it on private? I was tripping balls. You can just watch that, look at that if you'd like. Um, I just, having a separate Instagram account is a hassle for me and it, the aesthetic, I hate it. So I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna fucking get, hacken, hacken get rid of it. Um, so now I just have my normal Instagram account. Um, yeah, about uni, is there something interesting? Mm, oh, no, not uni related, but I have been recently on Tumblr again. And I think, like, two months ago, one month maybe, one and a half months ago maybe, I was sitting in the train with my boyfriend. Riz? No, with. With my boyfriend. We were going to museum I was dragging him to. And uh, it's a it's a very nice museum. It's like a museum where you can walk around, and they have like a medieval city. It's very nice. Um, so it's like a museum you can walk around. You can go through the houses and look at that. And um, I was sitting in the train, and I got a notification, and it said that my Tumblr account is now I think eight years old. And I was like, oh my god. And I still have the app on my phone. Because it's Tumblr, guys. What the fuck? Again, you know what? It's so far in, I'm going to swear. I don't care. Um, so I was like, oh my god. I had my Tumblr since... 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 Sure. Since I was in ninth grade, I think. Actually... Yeah, ninth grade. Because before that, I was 15. Before that, like I would say eighth grade, the beginning of eighth grade. So the summer break from seventh to eighth grade, I discovered Tumblr. I don't know how I did that because I did, I think I did have a phone. Oh no, I did not because in seventh grade my phone got stolen i bought that from my own money my own money it got stolen it was a android phone that was like you had to like they had like a touch screen but it was more like that you had to use like force so it was purple i really liked it it got stolen um but on that i didn't use my um uh, wi-fi or internet connection because as we all know everybody was scared back then not like my sister my sister got uh, i don't know when she got her first phone but my sister was not scared of accessing the wi-fi or actually typing in www dot something she didn't care she didn't care me on the other hand i was scared that my parents are gonna get broke and like bad people are gonna go come through my phone um so i didn't i think i didn't have a phone but my dad had a pc my brother had one um, and again, I don't know how I did that because I don't think I had like a PC or like a laptop or anything. I think I had, did I have a phone? Because I know in eighth grade, in eighth grade, in the beginning of eighth grade, seventh grade, my phone got stolen. The beginning of eighth grade, somewhere there, my parents got me a new phone, I think. It's like an old phone that my that was my dad's, I think. I'm not sure. Or it was a phone that I got. And because I remember that, because at that time I broke up with my boyfriend at the time. Um, and I was listening like, to sad music. It's so embarrassing. I was like 14, calm yourself. But I was sad. But he's happy now. So, good for him, you know? That is good for him. So, we are old. It's, like, almost, like, I was 14. And now I'm, like, I'm... Tr that was 10 years ago. It was 10 years ago. So, good for us. And uh, so I had a phone. But I think it was more that I watched... I started watching YouTube when I had this phone. Because I still had to ask my parents to use the PC that they had, like, in the office. And um, I'm still that person. I'm very afraid of things. And I know that when I was, like, 
13 or 14, my brother actually set up a Facebook account for me. Didn't end well, I deleted it. Um, I was a menace on there to people that I actually knew in real life, and I will formally apologize to that, but um, I don't know. I Issues, okay? Issues. Um, so I think maybe I started watching YouTube on this family PC in the office, but I sure not know that I watched YouTube on my phone when um, I was in eighth grade. So I discovered Tumblr for some reason. I think maybe someone talked about it in like a video or something, or I was Googling something and it came up. Probably that. I was a delulu little girl and uh, I stumbled upon that. And I was like, oh my God, that is great. And soon enough, because at the time I got like bullied in, uh, in middle school, at the time, I was like, you know what would be so quirky for me? To develop like an undiagnosed eating disorder. Oh my god. So I had a best friend at the time. And we're still friends. And uh, I was like, oh my god, did you see that? And she... I've, I mean, I don't know. We never really talked about it. Because you know how best friends don't talk about things? You just talk about it like with strangers at parties. But best friends really don't talk about things. I mean, at least me. Maybe it's just a me problem. Um, so we both had problems. And um, again, I'm not going to disclose anything because I know this person and this person. I know that this person watches my things. And I think it would be very disrespectful to... Maybe I will edit this out. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Um, but anyways, it's about me. Okay? It's about me. By the way, um, what should I, like, title these sort of videos? Because, I don't know. I have no ideas. And thank you very much. Also, when this comes out, I already have titled it. But anyways, I can change that. I don't care. Um... Yeah, so I discovered Tumblr and I was like, oh my god, I have problems. And these girls say, if you don't eat, they will go away. I was like, this is, makes so much sense. And also I have, I wouldn't say I'm a picky eater. My sister is a very picky eater. Um, but I have things that I don't want to eat. Or things I continuously want to eat. So it was very easy for me to like... Uh, uh, slip into whatever that was and this is how I discovered tumblr and it got worse and worse and worse and um but not to the point where like anyone was like to my face concerned because I was a rather hefty little woman uh since I started puberty I had the body of a, of a woman I was 14 period there and I looked like I was ready to go um, same height. I basically look like, look like how I look right now, except for like maybe 10 kilograms more. I don't know what that is in pounds. I'm not American. I just know how tall I am in feet. Kind of weird, Americans. Why are you so obsessed with feet, hmm? Um, so, uh... Yeah, so that was my first introduction to Tumblr, was like, oh my god, people are also sad here. And then as the years gone by, I was 15, 16, it was my summer break from 10th to 11th grade, so from middle school to high school, and my depression was in full force. I didn't like anything that was going on. Um, everything that could you could imagine... A depressive teenager, depressed teenager would do, I did. Um, and I my interactions with Tumblr shifted in a way of like I broadened my horizon. So I was no long longer I was I mean I was, but I wasn't frequenting frequencing? No. I wasn't as frequently going to the um ED community, I was more now like in the, oh my god, I'm so sad, but also like Kate Moss, um, Skins, Effie, um, American Horror Story situation that was Tumblr back then, and I was eating it up. I was like, mm -mm, who cooked? Who cooked? And I was obsessed. Obsessed. Loved it. Liked it. Mm, also, I 
was I 16? When, I think with 16, I think 16 I got also a nose piercing. Like right here, if you can see. Um, I no longer had it, it never healed. Um, and yeah, I think in 10th grade I got one. And so I was like so sad. So this was my introduction to Tumblr. It was like bad things being even worse. Oh my god, 40 minutes, guys. Uh, should we do an hour? Uh, uh. I should stop that. Um, Tanga kind of reminds me of Doja Cat. I don't know. Doja Cat seems like a person who has a big, big, very sharp tongue. Maybe because of her like um, music, the new music. I think she has a like sharp tongue. Mm. So I was like really hyped. I was like, oh my god, eight years. So cool. And recently, I mean, I'm on and off on Tumblr. But uh, I would say my mid-teens, early, like late teens. That was my social media platform. I did not have Instagram until I started uni, which was in 2019. So I... I still don't, like, really understand how things work. <laughs> My sister is almost an adult. Next year, she's gonna be 18. Um, she, just, like, a couple weeks ago, she had to explain to me how Twitch works. So, I have no idea how things work. I just don't. I have other things to do. Even if they don't seem that interesting to other people, they seem more interesting to me. Online banking, I just have now for a year. Before that, I didn't have that. I would go to the bank and fill out forms for sending money. So I just don't know how things work. I usually don't want to find out. Call me ignorant. I don't care. It's like a find of way of doing things. I like to stick to doing things like this. And like with like social media... I didn't have a phone for a long time, so like my best friend that I mentioned, she had an iPod, the, I don't know what it's called, the iPod that has like the um, touch screen, that sort of looks like an iPhone. She also had like the iPhones and stuff, so she did have access to Instagram and stuff like this. I did not, because I also didn't care that much. Actually, what did I do when I was younger? I think I just watched TV. I, because I couldn't read, obviously. Dyslexia. I didn't read. I didn't even fucking understand what was happening around me. Um, I just like to do things outside, I think. Um, yeah, so I stopped using Tumblr, I think, when I was in uni. I was, I mean, a little bit I used it, but, like, not as excessively. Because then I got Instagram. And I was like, this is way, way better. I mean, in a way, it's way, way better of... You can, like, really send people things. But I also had the privilege of using Instagram when it was almost fleshed out. Because in the beginning, in the beginning, <laughs> when it was starting, it was, like, really... I mean, I hear a lot of people say it was, like, the heyday of that, the beginning, because it was really nice, because it was just friends, no influencers there. I mean, no shade to the influencers. Um, like, it was, like, really wholesome, I heard, and uh, I got into Instagram when it was not as wholesome, because... But also, at the same time, I was used to a way more toxic behavior online um, because of Tumblr, so I just, for me, it was like, oh, so it's like sharing your own pictures, you could do that on Tumblr, but it was very hard to get, like, a grip there, um, and, um, it seems like it was just nicer, because it was, like, not, like, because Tumblr, for me, feels like a mixture between Instagram and Pinterest, almost. Very weird. So, so I'm used to, like, a weird platform. Mm. I'm so sorry if you can hear me drink. Um, so I stopped using it and just, like, occasionally going on there for, like, if I want to like, see like cute fan art of things I watch or something like this, seeing what my um the people that I follow do, 
or people that write fan fiction. There's one person I'm thinking of in particular. I'm not gonna name them. Um, I'm not gonna name the fandom. Actually, I will. I don't care. Name dropping. I read when it... I was one of the frontier people on Tumblr. I'm going... <laughs> I'm going to say it. I don't care. I don't care. You can sue me and I'm going to follow up on an opinion that is going to come. I was one of the only people of like five. It felt like five people that were after Stranger Things season two as delusional as it could be to ship two people one is blonde, the other one is brown-haired. I'm not gonna say more. If you know, you know. So I was like the one of the only people. Well, I was part of a of a small group, and I was scavenging the website to just f feel something. At the time, I was single, a teenage girl, and I didn't care. Uh, with these two eyeballs, I read everything you can read about these two men. Um, and I'm very proud of that. I mean, I what I did, I didn't write fan fiction. Um, I'm, I would say, a bad writer. <laughs> My dialogue seems like AI fucking created that, but like in 2006, it's so bad. I don't know how people speak, so I can describe things, but like... Um, Having a fan fiction or a story that just describes things is just awful. So, um, I just reblogged a lot and was like, oh my god, this is the best thing I've ever read. You are so good. Oh, can you put me on the um, reading list? And oh my god, can you tag me? I really want to see the update. So, I was like really out there. I was being the hype man. I was promoting. I was being the hype man. I didn't care. So, um, and I'm going to now get into a sidetrack. I'm we had like almost 50 minutes. Um, a sidetrack. We are now going into what I'm going to say. It's going to be controversial. It's okay if you cancel me. I don't care. I don't care. I know that I'm one of the only people that sh have this opinion. And I don't care. I'm sure... I mean, the actor... Again, I also don't know what the actor is called, so um, I think you already know what I'm going to say. But when the season four Stranger Things dropped, me and my boyfriend watched it. I was very excited about it. Season three, I liked, sad, cried my fucking eyes out because of a canon death that I disapprove of because the mother that caused that is a b-hole um no consequences by the way what are we teaching the kids what are we teaching the kids oh my god get swallowed by the interdimensional monster and the predator is not gonna get any consequences it doesn't make any sense um but yeah, season four and my wife and me we watched it because I was very excited about it I like Robin I like Steve. I like Dustin and Steve's dynamic. I'm I like everyone here, okay? Max and Lucas, what is gonna happen? That was such a cute romance. Mike, fuck yourself. I'm so sorry. I know that you're not an actual person, but fuck yourself. Eleven, Chef's Kiss Cutie, love her. Um Nancy, actually, go fuck yourself. Jonathan, you're a creep. You both deserve each other. Don't know what the fuck. That leaves... Actually, Argyle also. I liked him. He was fun. I liked the little... That looks like I'm a boomer. I don't care. I liked the little, you know, smoking weed, going to Cali. He was cool. He was hip. And that leaves one person. One person... And it's really good that this is the last thing I talk about. This one person. I hope his real name is Andrew or something like this. Because if it's Anthony. No, these are both written with 
A. Anthony and Andrew. Is Andrew written? I'm not American, so I don't know. Anthony is with an A that I know. Um, Edward. 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 This character pissed me the fuck off. Pissed me the fuck off. Okay, listen here. I understand when people don't like William Hargrove. I completely understand. A lot of his things can be re like read in a really, really wrong way. I just think he he was the character who had like the... Except for Steve, because he did redeem himself. He was the person I was like, maybe, just maybe, they're going to give him an excellent redemption arc. Excellent. <laughs> Didn't do that. They try to, but like in the most horrific way possible that let everyone either cheering or like crying. So they killed him off. And I was like, <laughs> what? Girl, um, that's really not it. Because um, I know that they wanted to write like the worst human enemy ever. Because they talked about like uh, on Netflix, there was like this conversation thing, which I also watched. Um, and they said they wanted to have like, um, like you know, in how in it that there's obviously Pennywise, and then these like this group of like bully kids that are like compared. If like if you wouldn't have the interdimensional clown, would be like the worst people there because obviously. So they wanted to create like an Stephen King esque human villain. Great. The thing is, they gave him too much like human things. And with that, I mean, if we take it, these, like, I think two or three bully kids, they have no, they're so one-dimensional. Someone's ringing the doorbell, but not mine, but I can hear. They're so one-dimensional. They're, like, they are there, and, like, then they're no longer there. They just serve the purpose of being dicks. I I'm talking about the one that, uh, uh, not the not the original one. I'm talking about the one that came out in I don't know when, but uh, recently. You know what I mean. Um, with uh, Finn Wolfhard um, in it. And uh, the kid with the summer spots. <laughs> the kid, the child. <laughs> the child with like the, you know what I mean. The girl with the red hair and whatever. I don't, I don't know how actors are called, what their name is. Um, I'm talking about that movie. And um, they do this horrendous, horrendous thing with like the a little bit more chubbier child. And you know what, that's fair. Because they come there, do that and like sort of leave. Um, and the, they only serve the purpose of like shocking the audience. And like, oh my god, look, they have like both things. Like the actual world and then the interdimensional world is like harsh to them. Which is... A good device, you know? Fair enough. It's Stephen King, what you gonna do? But the problem is with Billiam, Mr. Hargrove, they gave him two... I mean, it, I don't know if they gave him that or if... Um, what's this actor's name? I don't know. If um, he <laughs> um, gave him that um, um, through the acting, but he made him more human than he should have been for the things that the uh, Duffer brothers wanted to achieve. Um, the scene with his dad, if you would have cut that, for example, out, um, I would be like, yeah, this is, he's kind of like, eh, not it. But to see, in, in like retrospect, to see a teenage boy, he was probably like 16, 17, he looks like 30, but who knows, uh, 17 boy in the m in the middle of the 1980s be slapped by his dad and called the f slur and i i know my i mean my parents said like he doesn't really look like a gay man because of like the fashion and i which i know the fashion was just very um i would say feminized for the boys, crops, crop tops, uh, short jeans, shorts, longer hair, earrings, 
I mean, look at glam metal at the time, you know? So if we take that in it, it's still an um, abusive household. And with the flashback we get of the mom, that the mom is not there, the dad is abusive, verbally and physically abusive, the stepmom is not really doing nothing, and they ripped him out of school where he was presumed probably like a big shot. Um, you can't give an evil character um, like an like a story that like pulls your heartstrings because this would be like if we get like Pennywise like the like the extreme um no you know what the comparison is for Vecna <laughs> I don't know how you say it in English zero I guess or whatever Henry oh my god they did the same thing with Henry he's this awful thing who harasses children for like three and four seasons and then you give him this extreme arc of oh he's a broken guy and da, 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 da. um and then everybody felt bad for him Th this man this man is destroying the earth but we are like okay with that <laughs> valid i ca i guess valid so we have on this one hand this i mean this guy who's like again a lot of people are like, okay, but yeah, sure, whatever. But it does not say that he can then be an asshole to other people. That is fair. That is fair. A lot of people say that he's racist towards Lucas in this one scene. I have no opinion about this one scene. It's, uh, I first of all, I didn't really uh, pick up on it uh, until I saw this on Tumblr, on like a post. And then I rewatched and was like, oh, you know what? This is actually fucked up to like, you can read this in a way that is racially motivated. But at the same time, again, we know how the dad is. And the dad seems like a racially motivated guy. Um, he has a mustache. <laughs> Don't know why I said that. Um, so a lot of people take that and be like, yeah, but he's an off. Yeah, but then why do you draw fan art of like a huge PP on, on Henry? Make it make sense. Like, if you're lenient, fair. If both are assholes and you hate both of them, this is so valid. But then, they pick and choose. They pick and choose. And I am not there for pick and choosing. Because Henry... I think Henry is doing the worst thing. I mean, of course, you can see it like this. If he fucking destroys the earth, there's nothing going on there fair enough um anyways so i enjoyed the character of billy quite a lot because i saw potential in it a lot of people saw potential and be like oh my god maybe just maybe we're gonna get a redemption we didn't and then season four rolls around and i was like okay guys and there he is this guy that single-handedly was the reason why everyone was being cringy on the internet for a hot minute. A hot minute. Everyone was like, oh my god, d and and like long hair and being a nerd, but also being soft and also being like cool. This man single-handedly, not the actor, the character, single-handedly ruined Metallica for me. Master of Puppets is a nice song. Every time, and again, this is my problem. You can hate me and cancel me and have a bomb threat to my house. Every time I hear Metallica now, I have to skip. Except for the first album. The first album is very great. 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 I'm Australian. And everybody loved him. And I was like, yeah, this is fair. Again. This is fair. Why? I can see theoretically why people liked him. I have to say, in all these cases, I'm not talking about boys. I'm not. I haven't seen a lot of guys um, like be as vocal about this whole thing. And also, this is like a thousand years too late. But a lot of women, again. I'm not coming for no one. I'm just saying something. Um, and everybody loved him. Everybody loved him. And again, that is fair. He seems like a nice guy. 
he sells drugs, but it is what it is, you know, it's the 80s, um, but so is, um, he, yeah, he's nice, he's a quirked up white boy, um, and, you know, he has, like, qualities, I would guess, like, yeah, he seems lovable, he seems nice, he's, he's not an asshole, he seems a little wild and rowdy, though, um, but, you know, that's what the girl is like, um, for me, though, it felt like the Duffer brothers realized how big of a deal it was to kill Billy and how a lot of people grew to really like this character, either from a perspective of I like this character or of the perspective of, oh, what are they going to do with this character? And I think they regretted their choice uh, of killing him. I don't know, again, if they really planned on killing him or if the actor had something else to do, or the actor was like, oh, I think we should kill him. I don't know, but um, I'm holding this like I'm a, a um, stand-up comedian. <laughs> and um, I think the Duffer brothers, if that was their choice to kill Billy, it was a mistake. And I think they recognized it, because they had like a lot of female audience pulling in that direction that oh my god even if it's just very shallow that a lot of girls was oh my god he's so attractive whatever and um they were like okay a lot of people like this character but they like him if he would be nice what if we make that guy by the way this is for my headphones <laughs> um what if we take the blueprint of billy but make him what everybody wanted him to be in the end because you can't bring back Billy, even though there are a lot of inconsistencies in the whole series. Um, and so they brought Eddie along. And I disliked this so much that this sort of ruined the whole series for me. And him dying in the end was so cheap. He's singing a song for a woman that he that doesn't know him it's giving mojo dojo casa house it's giving i'm just ken it's giving i'm going to push you around it's giving singing at the campfire but like make it 80s edition and a lot of people enjoyed this character my boyfriend was like, why are you so upset? And I was like, you wouldn't understand. And then I told my roommate about it. And she was like, no, I understand. And I see like, till now, till now, I have only seen two Tumblr posts barely scratching and be like, oh, maybe they were like, we need another character like this, you know? And everybody's like, oh, no. Nah, nah, nah. It's like, no, like, think about it. Think about it. You trip in balls. Anyways, that was my rant about that. I, I I don't know. It was about Tumblr. That's what I was talking about. Um, the original point why I was talking about Tumblr, kind of forgot about it. But now you know my open opinion about Stranger Things. Don't know if I'm gonna cut this. I'm probably not gonna cut this. I had fun talking about that. Um, but um, I'm gonna wrap this up. And um, you can tell me in the comments if you, like, sort of enjoyed this kind of content. Oh, bah, content. Ew, I mean. Um, and um, because I had fun, as you can see, I was rambling quite a lot. Mm, but, yeah, I know how to end this. Oh. <laughs> And again, I don't know what I'm going to title this, but um, if you want to see this kind of thing more and um, you have like an idea of what I should call this, we totally can. We totally can what? I don't know. You can totally tell me that and I will look through. Again, we are only 25 people here. Hi, guys. Missed you all. And um, yeah, I mean, if you want to, you can check out my Instagram. And, um, 
yeah, tell me about tell me about your opinion about this whole debate deba this whole me just trying to say words, but in the end realizing they are German words that I think they don't have like an English equivalent is going to be so heavy in this thing. Um, tell me in the comments your opinions about whatever I talked about and if you think I should die because of them. Again, you can send a bomb threat through my house. I don't care. I have a the I have an exam next week, so it would be greatly appreciated if you would. Actually, no, don't don't off me, okay? But um, yes. Bye bye, my girls. <laughs>